Hello, it's another edition of Plus Reports, a compilation of the stories and events that made the news recently. Welcome, I'm Jacinta Obioko. This week's edition captures Pastor Kumuye's biography, which was launched in Lagos. The general overseers of the Redeemed Christian Church of God and Deeper Life Christian Ministry have been encouraged to not relent in suggesting ways to make Nigeria better to government leaders. The charge was given by Professor Dabu Asaju at the ceremony to eulogize Kumuye for his humility, energetic and exemplary life. Plus TV Africa Lagos State Government House Correspondent Lovi Kuku de uh, Oyedokun has more on this. Political, business, industry and religious leaders are gathered here in Lagos to honor the founder and general superintendent of Depot Christian Life Ministry, Pastor William Kumuyi. The garden presents a window for the girl speaker, Professor Dakwo Ashaju, to drop home one of the needs of Nigeria, respected men who will speak truth to power. He charges Pastor Kumuyi and the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, to sit down with government officials and guide them as prophets. All ministers of God should speak out now. As things are going upside down in Nigeria, you are comfortable here. People are not comfortable in Benue. They are not comfortable in Southern Kaduna. They are not comfortable in other places. All our church leaders must speak out. I look forward to Baba addressing a world press conference. Sit there beside him with Baba Adeboye and let them call people and say, Enough is enough. Professor Ashaju decries corruption and stresses the need for leaders and citizens who work in integrity. We must have integrity wherever we are. We are all agents of God. Transparency makes the leaders to be responsible and accountable to the public that vote them into power. Openness and accountability are essential for people to have trust in their leaders at all levels. Lagos State Governor Baba Yudesawonlu was here and in his remark acknowledged the words of advice from the guest speaker. Vice President Yemi Ushibanjo would rather play down on that but leads for task men need to take seriously. Those who succeed in their endeavors, whatever those endeavors may, may be, owe society three taxes, three forms of tax. The first is income tax, personal income tax. And if you own a company, corporation tax or company tax. The second is a social tax. He commends those who put the autobiography of Pastor Kumuyi together and is happy that he is being celebrated while alive. From Victoria Island, Love Ikuku Oyedoku, reporting for Plus TV, Africa. Truly, religious leaders play a huge role in the affairs of a country and its citizenry. To Lagos Housing, Governor Babajide Sangwulu has given airing contractors handling the Shongotedo Phase 2 housing project in Etiosa one week to improve the level of work or have their contracts terminated. Once again, Love Ikuko Yedokon brings us the details. This is one of the numerous low-cost housing estates being undertaken by the Lagos State Government. It is meant to help in bridging the housing deficit in the state. The Shongotedo housing project is in two phases. The first, consisting of 744 units, is about 90% complete. The second phase has 444 flats. <laughs> Governor Sawolu is visibly unhappy with the level of work done by some of the contractors. He directs them to make appreciable progress within the next one week or have their contracts cancelled. But the Minister of Housing and the Minister of Works will come and inspect. If we do not see appreciable movement, right, they will give me the report and I will determine that contract. And once we determine, we'll enter into a litigation. And that means that we're going to blacklist you. 
So we're giving you an additional one week to make remediation. He commends contractors who have shown resilience and commitment in carrying out their task. Samolu is confident the project would be completed by the end of November. Sawolu also urged the contractors to complete the Songo Tedo homes on time in order to be able to handle it over to beneficiaries. All of the other contractors that are working, let's just give ourselves a one month to, to clean up. If they bring your file in front of me and say that they are owing you, we'll clean it up within another one month. And we'll wait another three, four weeks to do extensive cleanup so that we can come here, hand over these, these blocks to our citizens, and we can have life come here as soon as possible. And like we said, we are probably going to be walling it off for, from phase two so that we'll give the next nine months to 12 months for phase two to be completed and we'll come back here maybe before the end of next year to also come and commission phase two. The Commissioner for Housing, that of Physical Planning and Urban Development and the Special Advisor on Works and Infrastructure are with the Governor on the inspection. The apartment here are a part of the Lagos Homes program meant to be given to beneficiaries. From Lagos, Love Ikuku Oyedoku, reporting for Plus TV, Africa. The Lagos Homes Ownership Mortgage Scheme, Lagos Homes, is a government initiative to encourage and support home ownership for Lagos residents to purchase decent and affordable homes through the provision of accessible uh, mortgage finance. The Chief of Army Staff Major General Farouk Yahaya was on a visit to Lagos to inspect military formations and other vital engagements. He spoke on measures adopted by the Nigerian Army to end insecurity. After 185 years of existence, the Nigerian Army maintains discipline year on year. The Chief of Army Staff shows how fit troops and superiors of the Nigerian Army are. He engages them in several counts of press-ups while on a visit to 64 Battalion Bonnie Camp. He speaks to troops on the need to be their brother's keeper, synergy and well-being of the members of the Nigerian Army. It's by design, it's not like that. That's why you have to work hard and a place and be promoted. Synology is important, but it's not the only one. There are other things that are checked. And all of you know, all of you have first mate or intake mate. Among your intake mate, you know those that were constantly online guard. You know those that are on the other side. You also know those that are hardworking. So should you treat them all the same thing? Because they were the same thing. No. There's a procedure. And if you are a warrant officer, up to that level, it's not necessary that you must be. If you have other challenges, thank God. Check out among your intake mate, how many? I want to so sometimes what we do, we forget our blessing and count other people's own. Not forgetting insecurity, Lieutenant General Yahaya speaks to journalists on measures taken so far to cop the menace. I appreciated the job they are doing, and now I have seen also areas of intervention and support that we will continue to give. I want to assure that the Nigerian Army will continue to do its best to address the myriad of security challenges that we're having across the country, whether it is northeast, northwest, north central, south east, south south, and all across. And the soldiers are doing well in synergy, of course, with other services, other agencies, and other stakeholders, including traditional rulers, traditional institutions, opinion leaders, and all others. We need all hands to be on deck and together we can fight this insecurity and the other challenges we find ourselves. Perhaps periodic engagements like this by the Chief of Army Staff would add some motivation to the well-worn morale of the Army in combating insecurity. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. This next report is on safety of pregnant women. The Lagos State Government is seeking partnerships to support new mothers and their babies. The call for cooperation was made at a media party organized by the Office of Civic Engagement ahead of the launch of MICH Initiative, which is acronym for Mother Infant and Child Initiative. Plus TV Africa's Ngozi Kauhai Jesse has more on this. 
17th September is marked as World Patient Safety Day. This year, the theme is safe maternal and newborn care. The Lagos Mother, Infant and Child Initiative or MIG Initiative has existed for two years and is hosting this media party to have a deep conversation about the security and well-being of pregnant women and their ability to birth healthy babies. The special advisor of the Office of Civic Engagement to the Lagos State Governor, Aderemi Adebowale, explains what MIG is about. What the MIG program tends to do is to make sure that our indigent pregnant women are eating well while they are pregnant. Not just eating well, making sure they, 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 they think about what goes into their stomach. Mitch supports 50 women in each local government in Lagos State, according to his consultant, Jafet Ulubogi. The program in each of the LGA, LCDA of Lagos, and the women were given a uh, food pack, food packs which comprised uh, carbohydrates, protein, vitamins, multivitamins. Agencies like the Lagos State Nutrition Office and private organizations are partnering with the Office of Civic Engagement on the MITCH initiative. We heard about this um, initiative right from the inception. We've been partnering with I, myself, my unit, nutrition unit, we did the analysis of the food pack to see the food content, uh, the nutrient content, and to what extent can it take care of. MITCH is it's a great initiative. We're very happy to be part of it, and we just employ every other person, every other organization out there. If you, have, if you have not come on board, to quickly come on board. But there are criteria of selecting pregnant women for support. The individual must be a resident in the particular LGA or LCDA where you intend to benefit uh, from the food parks. Uh, the individual must also be registered with LASRA. Maternal and infant mortality are serious issues in Nigeria where one in every 123 live births ends in the death of the mother, according to 2020 statistics from the World Health Organization. One in every 13 babies born in the country also doesn't make it past the first year. For Plus TV Africa, Ngozika, Ohio HSE. Well, the need to support the development of socially responsible citizens from the womb to adulthood is the reason behind the mother, infant, and child program. We will now go on short break. We will be right back for more. Please stay with us. <laughs> 